Hey guys, welcome back. You are doing some Tumblr talk with Little Lee and Rose and Summer Noel. Um, if this is the first time you're seeing me, uh, your first YouTube tutorial from me, go ahead and check out all my other YouTube tutorials, especially if you are a new, a new newbie to this uh, Tumblr making. Uh, I do I do start at the beginning. I do a lot of the early stage Tumblr stuff, how to glitter cut, basics, basics. Um, but today, um, and that'll just kind of bring you up to speed. But today I'm actually going to do kind of start from ground zero again as well. And I'm going to do a Tumblr and every component of this Tumblr is going to come and be used from the dollar store. Um, the only things that are not going to be used for the dog from the dollar store on this cup are going to be my safety equipment and my epoxy. So my nitrile gloves, my chemical mask and my epoxy. Um, mainly because these are the three things that you can't get at the dollar store that you need to seal in this tumbler and you need the safety equipment to use with the epoxy because it's very dangerous to epoxy without your safety equipment. Okay, so uh, your supply list for today's cup is going to be, um, uh, and again, all the stuff was bought at the dollar store, uh, electrical tape, popsicle sticks, scissors, a little super glue. We've got a pack of tissue paper, whatever color you choose. They have... Um, in the kids' school department, they have a, what do they call this? This is kind of like a transfer paper is what it's got the texture like. It's used to cover uh, books, and we're going to use that as our vinyl today. Um, little cups for stirring your epoxy, uh, paintbrushes, glue, um, different types of gloves for the different things that I'm going to do that don't involve the epoxy. So you have the two different kinds. This is in the cleaning department, and these little super thin ones are in the hardware department of the dollar store. And then this is just a foam noodle like holder that I make and it's it's a foam noodle from the dollar store held together by your rubber bands from the dollar store and it's just two pieces cut together with rubber bands and this is going to be what holds our cup in place while we're working on it when we need it. I'm um, like to place our decals and stuff. Um, and I'm also, well, I guess this counts too. I'm going to be using this drying rack uh, for to, to dry it while we're doing pro in between the processes of the uh, epoxy method. Uh, and I'm just gonna have the mat underneath. But these two things are, so the top shelf here is not dollar store, but these are all things like the the uh, drying rack. You can really use anything. You can use an old water bottle and put your cup upside down in an old, like a water bottle or something. You don't have to have something fancy. This is not even fancy. This is just PVC pipe. You can see I use it a lot. I spray paint on it a lot. Um, and it's very, it's just a tea bar. It's just teed with arms coming up. Kind of very easy to make. Um, and a silicone mat underneath, so if it, the uh, epoxy happens to drip off, this is going to catch it and not ruin my table. Okay, so that is your supplies for this. We're going to jump in. Um, so what I'm going to do is this is the cup. I'm just going to work on this plastic one today because I've got a lot of questions lately about plastics and, and if you can work on plastics. And um, so I'm going to do, I've already put out a tutorial for you guys, um, but I'm going to do it again on this one. Um, and I'm going to do this one completely with the hang method. So you're going to see it start to finish with the hang method only. No turner used on this uh, plastic cup. Um, but you can use, uh, from the dollar store, you can do a wine glass, you could do um, the big beer steins, you can work on the glass, you can work on those dollar store tumblers that have the black with the silver in the middle that are like travel coffee mugs. This is just the example I picked today because I really like this tissue paper and this matched the tissue paper. So I thought, well, that'll work out perfect. Um, so really the base of the stuff that you can do is pick the color base of whatever cup you want, whatever color tissue paper you want and match it to some sort of little vinyl thing, uh, the paper, uh, book covering vinyl. They do have this in different colors. I just chose this one because I liked it with the colors here. Okay, so we are going to start uh, this cup. I'm gonna jump off, get set up for to actually get started on this cup, and I will be right back with you guys. All right, we're back, and you might, might hear my turners groaning in the background. <laughs> they have been working real hard today, uh, getting everything out for my orders. Um, okay, so here we are. We've got everything kind of set up for the first part of what we're gonna do. And first I'm gonna do is, whoops, these popped out, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is take my electrical tape and I'm gonna tape off, I, like you guys have seen me do in other videos, I take more, these are dollar store scissors. This is uh, found in, in the hardware department of the dollar store for your electrical tape. And we're gonna take the cup and I'm gonna tape off let me do this so you guys can get a clear shot of what I'm doing. We're going to tape off along the edge right here with electrical tape. We're doing this because we don't want to get any epoxy down in the threads of the uh, the lid where the lid would screw on. Otherwise, the lid obviously won't screw on. So I'm just going to I'm just going to tape this whole little section off all the way around. And then I'm going to make sure it goes all the way up. And covers that way the entire lip is covered 
because when you're doing hang methods, sometimes the epoxy will drip down. And so you want to make sure the entire thing is covered so the epoxy doesn't get down on these threads. Okay, so this one is ready. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set the electrical tape aside because we don't need that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the tissue paper. This is uh, just one piece of blue and I want it to be all in different pieces. So we're just going to cut. I folded one big piece up and got to this, this just folded and folded and folded until I got to this point because I figured this is the easiest way to cut this tissue paper into a bunch of little pieces. And that's probably good. We just want pieces. We don't want one big piece right now. Okay, so we'll start with this blue. These little pieces you can just set off to the side and throw away. All right, so now we've got all these little pieces of tissue paper. And that is what we want for this next step. So I am going to kind of sort these out so I'm not trying to do this. If I get glue on my fingers, I don't want to be trying to do this with the glue on my hands because they will all stick to me. So you want to separate them out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just the idea so you just can grab one easily. You might not even need all this, which would be awesome because then you'd have enough su uh, supplies for two. Okay, so I'm going to put this, this looks like it's plenty. So I'm going to put that aside. You guys don't need to see, sit here and watch me open all this paper. Okay, so then we're going to take our uh, little foam brush. This is from the hardware department of the dollar store, and this is liquid adhesive. Um, this is in the art area, like your kid's art area in the dollar store. I'm going to pull that out. And this is used to like attach gems and all that kind of things. And we're basically going to cover this cup, little goober there. We're going to cover this cup with paint. I'm going to use my drying rack in this so it holds it steady in camera for you guys. Otherwise, sometimes I get a little, I stray a little bit from the camera. Okay, so we're just going to squeeze. Oh, I got to cut the tip. Sorry, brand new. Forgot that I have to cut the tip. Okay, use my dollar store scissors to cut the tip, and I'm just gonna kind of pull it up on the bottom here, kind of like you would with a hang method. Sit that there. And you're gonna brush it down just like you would the hang method. Kind of similar idea, but you're just using regular old glue. This is, I have found this glue to be um, more adhesive than Elmer's glue. It just, it grabs better. So I'm sure you could probably do this with like school glue. Um, but we're going to just use this for the sake, because like I said, this is more designed to attach gems and jewels and things. So it has a little bit more strong strength in the adhesive. So I'm just brushing it down, bringing it all the way to the lip. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're going to be covering it all up. basically making sure I go through and get glue on everything. Okay, so now we've kind of got glue all around the cup. Nothing fancy, just slap it on, get it on there paintbrush off to the side here and we're going to start taking these pieces and sticking them on. Now the glue will actually kind of go through this paper a little bit and get a little tacky on the outside so you can kind of layer these pieces. Just make sure all your edges are down. And if it doesn't stick down just go back in there and we're going to throw in some more glue. This is going down pretty good. This is gonna, this is kind of acting like Mod Podge. Oop, that one tore a little bit. So we're gonna, I pulled too hard on that one. Okay, so just pull it off. It's inexpensive, so we're not too worried about that part. That one tore just a little because I was trying to force it down. So don't push it. Remember, tissue paper is very delicate. Wrinkles are fine. It kind of adds to the fun part of this. It doesn't, is the, almost the imperfect, the perfection of imperfection. So there, see, I, I pulled on the other one too hard. So this one, I'm not gonna pull on at all. Okay. 
okay and just keep going some of these aren't gonna like I said they're gonna be um, like this you see a little flat but I'll show you how to deal with that in a minute okay. right now I'm just trying to get pretty much the cover cup just covered um, I didn't base paint this um, because I'm using kind of colors that are similar to the cup so the cup is kind of its own base paint um, I'm just and I'm piecing these because it kind of just adds some texture and makes it look pretty I, I like all the texture that we're gonna be layering on here with the tissue paper and all the wrinkles and um, all that it's kind of like it's got a story to tell it's pretty cool um, but you can probably just I mean you can wrap this with just one piece of tissue paper if you want but I just prefer the way that this looks so it's kind of comes down to preference of how you want your cup and what you're gonna put on your cup you know with your decals and all that so just kind of get in there Oops, sorry I'll turn it back towards the camera I hope you guys can see this oh yeah you can see sorry just checked check what was it I was taping make sure you guys could actually see what I'm doing I'm layering that into that little spot right there Normally I don't make you guys watch me all, watch me do all this tedious stuff, but this is kind of a big part of this cup is just getting it covered. And I wanna make sure you guys see how it goes. Okay. And then I'm gonna get a little more glue and we're just gonna smush, we're just gonna smush all these down. That's why I was saying you don't have to worry about all the little things that are imperfect because they will be fine. We're just gonna smash them down with glue. So I'm going to put another layer of glue on this and this is just going to smooth down all the pieces that were sticking up and just kind of like what you do like layering Mod Podge for your fabric tumbler you're going to do the same for this but I'm actually going to layer it and keep adding tissue paper and so we're going to get layers and layers and layers of tissue paper um, that'll kind of fill in the cracks it'll give it a really pretty textured almost vintage look um, you'll see as we get to the next stages and it's just something fun to try other than just glittering a tumbler which uh, don't get me wrong I love my glitter but this is just a fun thing to try uh, something different um, something you can even put it in your Etsy shop it's be unique for a new, new, new unique look or if you're trying to do a fundraiser and help a school out and make them some stuff, this is a really in inexpensive price point to make some items that they can raffle off or sell with their sports teams or something and you can help out a school and um, keep your cost really low because like I said, everything comes from the dollar store except the very few supplies you use at the end. So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that I have them really well against the lip of the cup just above where we taped off so that way the whole thing is covered again don't worry about perfection here that's the, the name of the game is imperfection and I'm just gonna keep layering more and more layers of this tissue paper okay so I'm gonna keep doing this guys I'm gonna keep layering sticking more pieces on adding more of that glue um, putting them all on angles just having fun with this and we will come back. You guys don't need to sit me do this over and over and over. It's the same idea. Stick them down, glue them down, add the next layer, and just keep going and going until you get, I would say, three or four layers. All right, so I'm going to finish this one up, and we will come back. Hey, guys. Okay, we are at this point. I've probably got four layers of tissue paper on this bad boy. It doesn't look super great now, but that's because it's all wet and weird. Um, but I kind of got inspired while I was doing this, and luckily I had... Bought some backup supplies thinking, what if I get into this specific cup and I don't have what I need? So I bought a bunch of random stuff at the dollar store. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist, I saw a little spot. And I grabbed some glitter while I was there. So in your dollar, in like the crafting area, they have these little glitters. Yeah, they're dollar store glitters. They're not gonna be amazing, but they will serve the purpose. So I'm gonna open these and I'm gonna add glitter to this cup because I just love my sparkle and I have not made 
a glittery, glittery cup other than the B cup for a few days. And so this one is going to serve its glitter purpose for me. I feel like every day needs to involve glitter. So I'm going to pull the silvers out for this one. Okay, so but you can see it comes with a, quite a few cute little glitters in this pack. You've got gold, pink, kind of like a fuchsia color. Two different golds, a really yellow gold, a plain gold, and then the silver. So we're just going to use the silver. We'll stick that to the side for another day. I have a bunch of paper plates from the dollar store. I use these to catch glitter. And let's see, we're going to open this. It's got the little glitter spout. And you know what? It's pretty wet still, but I'm going to make sure we have plenty of glue for this glitter to grab. This is just going to add a little glitz to our cup. I thought that would be fun today. So I'm going to make it a glitter bottom and a glitter top. I'm just making sure that there's plenty of... This is what happens when you have triplets. You learn to super multitask. Hold a cup and squeeze your glue at the same time. Usually while holding one of your kids. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to paint down the cup a little bit. I'm kind of going to... My intention is going to be kind of like to give it a little ombre sprinkle. So it has a little glitter, glitter on the bottom and then kind of fading up to the top. I could try to do my little trick, but I want more glue. Okay, sorry, just talking to myself. Because you guys are all here, but really I'm just sitting here doing this by myself. And I try to pretend like you're sitting here next to me. <laughs> so I don't feel like such a goober uh, talking away to myself. So it's pretty awesome. But here we go. Sometimes you'll catch me just talking away to myself. Okay, and then I'm going to fan that out just a little bit. But like I said, the whole cup is still pretty wet. Okay, put that off to the side. Grab my glitter. I'm going to move my hang, my drying rack out of the way so you guys can see it. And just sprinkle this on. Ooh, I like it already. I'm so glad I did this. Normally I'm a dump and go girl, but we're gonna go slow on this one because I cut, like I said, I kind of want it to be a little bit ombre, just a little glitter along the bottom, a little glitter along the top. And you can see I'm just sprinkling and then I'm kind of letting it fall, like shaking it so it kind of goes up the cup. It's not really an ombre because it's not really ombre into another glitter color, but it's, I would call it the fade. And my theory is you can never have too much glitter. Glitter. I don't know why I always sing to you guys. I won't sing in public ever. But for some reason when this camera turns on, I always sing to you guys. Okay, so there is the bottom. And I'm going to switch out. I'm going to bring my drying rack back in here real close. I'm going to let this hang out right there. Woo, glitter. And I'm going to get my paintbrush again. And I'm going to re-zhuzh me up. Woo! Paint's going everywhere. Maybe I got too much paint. I mean, not paint, glue. And I'm going to do the kind of the same idea down here. With the glue. I'm just getting it right up in here so we can get the glitter right up in this lip. And then I'm going to pull the tape so that you can see it won't get stuck to it and almost impossible to remove. Okay, good enough. Same idea, just dropping the glitter right into that crack. I don't know why, but these colors make me think of New Year's. The glitter and the teal, or the aqua, or whatever color this would be considered. Just makes me, for some reason, think of New Year's. Okay, so you see we've got the whole sprinkle all the way around. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to let that... Actually, no, I'm not going to let that dry. We're moving... We're going to just move right into the... I've got a super messy space. Actually, I'll clean up, and I'll come right back with you guys. 
Okay, we are all cleaned up. So we're back. I put my tray under here just to catch glitter if it falls. I had one direction I was gonna go with this cup. It did not involve putting glitter on it. It actually involved layering this fun pattern over the top of it and then putting our decal on. And then my brain shifted to needing glitter tonight. So we shifted to glitter. I'm not gonna use this because now my whole idea of what I want this cup to look like has now changed. So we're just gonna stick with the dollar store uh, glitter and the dollar store tissue paper. And I have never done this, but I am going to attempt to press this down just like, oh, and it's working. I was worried that it would stick to my finger. I'm gonna press the glitter to the cup just like you would if you're doing a hang method glittering, um, just to get to stick down real flat so that when we go to um, uh, layer the epoxy in, it doesn't take as much epoxy because the glitter is stuck down real nice and flat. Um, some of it will stick to your glove, that's okay. okay. You can see I'm just pressing the glitter down with my hands. You'll have a little glitter on your hands, that's fine. It's now sticking to the middle of the cup, which is fine because it kind of makes it look a little more ombre together like the silver is meeting in the middle. Perfect, okay. So now we've pressed that down and we're gonna pull the tape and let this dry. Cause I'm gonna pull the tape now because that glue, I don't want it to get stuck to the tape and make this permanent. So I'm just pulling the tape off very carefully. And there we go. All right. So I'm gonna let this dry, guys, and we will come back for the next steps. And I'm just gonna give you a nice good view of what it looks like from the side so you can see it. All right, so you've got the tissue in the middle, the glitter on the bottom, glitter on the top, and glitter all the way on the bottom. It's already turning out so pretty. And it's gonna look really pretty. The, the blues together will look, these, these aqua colors will look really pretty together. Okay, so we're gonna dry and get on to the next step. All right, well, that is drying. We are gonna jump into doing our little decal. This is on that um, sticker paper. It's kind of like, and no, it's not sticker paper, I'm sorry, like contact paper, um, almost like uh, shelf liner, drawer liner, or what we use is like transfer tape. It's thin like that. This is, I guess this purpose for this one is to cover a book for like a school book, um, but I'm gonna use it. So when you, if you cut this out on your cutting machine, like your Cricut, you're gonna put it on custom settings and you're gonna uh, select contact paper or transfer paper and it's gonna cut this really thin. Um, I cut out a piece about the size that I think I'm gonna want it. I'm not gonna make it this big, but I want it bigger than, I just, why not? I have this huge roll. And I am gonna make this cup for, let's, I'll make this for my one of my daughter's uh, speech therapists. She is wonderful my daughter gets so excited every time we see her. So I'm gonna gift her this super cute tumbler uh, when I am finished. So I'm going to put Miss Debbie on there for her and in personalize it for her. And I'm sure she's going to love it. So I'm going to cut out my sticker and we will be back. So here is the decal printed out. I'm not going to use transfer paper on this because it has the exact same amount of stickiness as a piece of transfer paper. So I am not confident that if I stick transfer paper on top of this and then try to stick it to my cup that it will come off. I'm actually almost positive it won't. So I'm gonna be hand removing and hand sticking this one. Um, because it's contact paper, it's super easy to mess, mess with and work with because it's not super sticky. And I do wanna show you guys, I did not cheat. I did not weed this without a dollar with a fancy tool. This is in the hardware department. It comes in a pack, there's like four of different shapes and sizes. And it looks just very similar to the Cricut weeding tool. It's not as sharp and it doesn't have as fine of a point, but that is how I weeded this whole page. Um, I would have done it on camera, but that is just a tedious process that you guys don't want to waste your time with. Um, and if you don't know how to weed, you can also go back to my older videos and look at reverse weeding. That would be on regular vinyl though with transfer paper. But weeding is just, if you, for the newbies and beginners, weeding is when you take this tool and hook or pull and push and get all these little pieces out that were around here. So this piece, I just got into the corner and I hooked it and then I slid it off and I was just careful to remove it without taking this with it. And then all these pieces that were stuck in, in these letters I got with this. Okay, so we've got our decal ready. We are just waiting for the cup to dry. And then we will actually, before I add this decal, I wanna get a couple layers of epoxy on that thing um, to get a nice smooth surface for this to sit on so it's not all rumply and bumply across that um, Tissue paper. All right, so I'm gonna let the cup dry and we will come back when we are ready to start our epoxy hang method. All right, guys, we are back. I have my epoxy mask on. So again, it's gonna be a little muffled, but I've got the mic right up next to it. 
So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm going to sound a little bit like Darth Vader with my breathing, but... Okay, so I, f I wanted to jump back in real quick and show you guys. I had said when you cut this to put it on transfer paper or um, contact paper, but I went back in and I know I've cut before, but I, it was not an option. So what I did with this one is I put washi tape as my setting to cut. I used um, regular, the default setting for the pressure, and I cut it twice. So for those of you who don't know what that means, um, what I did was I put it through my Cricut and I cut it. And instead of pushing the unload button, you just re-push the C for recut for cut. And it will cut twice. The reason you don't want to unload it is because once you've unloaded it, you can't reload it and it won't cut in the exact same spot. Because it'll be off by like a millimeter, it'll be off by a tiny bit, and you'll end up with cuts all over the place. So what you do is you cut it, you leave, then when it's done, you leave it, and even though it's kind of, it'll look like it's halfway in the machine, that's fine. The machine knows where it's at. Just re-push the C on the washi setting, and it will cut this out in the exact same spot twice on the washi setting, which is a really gentle setting, and it gave it to me perfectly. And you can see it weeded out really nice. Okay, so, but I just want to touch base on that because I had originally said use contact paper or transfer paper setting, but that does not exist. I thought it did, but it does not. So use washi tape and cut it twice. Okay, now we're going to do hang method on this. I'm actually going to do hang method for this entire cup because I've never actually done one for you guys. And I say you can do them all the time, but I've never actually done one on camera for you guys. So I'm going to kind of prove that it is possible to do a cup from start to finish. When you work over glitter, normally you'll use only two mLs to cover a cup. But when you work over glitter, you need a little bit more because it's not you can't press and slide it like you normally would. Um, because if you press and push too hard, you're gonna move all this glitter around on this cup. Now, if you don't want your glitter to move at all, you wanna seal the cup with clear spray. That will hold that glitter in place while you epoxy over the top. However, I'm going to skip that step now, just in essence of timing, because I have my glitter kind of fading. It's heavy on each end and then kind of softens up through the middle. So if a little bit more moves into the middle, I'm not really concerned uh, because there's already some in the middle. But if you're really trying to keep your glitter exactly where you want, seal it with clear coat spray paint. Okay, so I'm just going to dump. I've already mixed my epoxy. You guys don't need to watch me mix another round of epoxy on camera. And you can see I'm actually using quite a bit more than two mLs. I would say probably here I've got five, between five and seven mLs. I just actually, this is just what's, I'm going to have way too much actually now. I just should have stopped pouring. Um, I am gonna, so I'm going to have to end up dealing with drips on the bottom, but I will show you how to manage that as well. Actually, that's probably a good training tool to show you how to manage that. Um, so I'm just going to slowly push this off. And again, the reason I'm using more is because I'm doing it over a glitter base. Okay, here we go. And it's going to drip a lot more than you're used to with regular hang method. It should, hang method shouldn't drip at all. This is going to drip just because we're using extra. And you can see it's the same technique, but you don't use as much pressure because you don't want to push that glitter all over the place. But you do need to move the epoxy, so you just gently work it down the cup. Now, what you do want to avoid are the drips on the bottom. So what you're going to do when you, when you do it this way is you kind of have to babysit the cup a little bit. Just check on it, like I would say, every 30 minutes or so. And if a drip comes off, you're going to catch it. So what I'm going to do with this, and you see I've already got the tape, uh, cup taped off. Okay, so I've got this pretty good. Now I'm really going to start trying to move this epoxy down the cup. I've got most of it moved off the top pretty well. And I thought I was going to have too much, but it's probably going to be perfect. Maybe need a little more, actually. It's going along pretty good. So you can see, I don't know if it's if you're able to tell while I'm on camera, that I'm not pushing near as hard and sliding near as firmly as I would for uh, the regular epoxy method when there's no glitter involved. I'm just kind of running my hand. Uh, it's gonna take a minute because I'm not using as much pressure. I'm just gonna slowly work that epoxy down over the second set of glitter. I'm just slowly working my way around here. I am getting to the edge of the cup. I can feel it, as I said before in the other, the hang method, you can feel when it gets slick and slippery and easy to move, that means it's got epoxy. If it's stuff and you're stuck and your finger kind of, I mean tough and your finger starts to stick, 
Sorry, I had to take a big deep breath. Um, that means that you still need to get epoxy in that area. Once there's epoxy, it'll, your finger will slide over real easy because it's already slippery with the epoxy. All right, there we go. So now what I'm going to do, just to make sure I get some down in this crack, I'm going to get a little bit and I'm going to just drizzle it in there down in this space along the edge. Move that out of the way for just a second so I can really get a good look at this as I'm doing it. Make sure it's in there. So see what I mean about texture in the middle? When you do that with the tissue paper, it almost makes it look like it's water or like the ocean and the waves are crashing. It's a really kind of fun uh, texture in the middle with the tissue paper. Now, obviously, you don't need the tissue paper. You probably could have left the cup and just added some glitter or whatever. But I like that texture throughout the middle. And then when we put our epoxy on, it gets nice and shiny. And then we're going to put our label over the, the middle of it. Okay, so there is one layer of uh, hang method. I will probably do two more layers on this, guys. And then do a gentle sand. But it might only need one layer because this isn't very chunky pop, uh, glitter and I was able to tamp it down pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for probably about 45 minutes and then I'm going to come pull the tape in. And the, Normally I pull my tape immediately, but the reason I'm waiting is because I want to wait to see if any epoxy drips over and drips down onto this tape. That way I want to wait till the epoxy firms up just a little bit so it's not moving anymore. To pull my tape because if I pull my tape now and epoxy slides down because I used more epoxy than normal because of the glitter I don't want to have that slide into the area that I took the tape off of so I hope that makes sense for you guys and so I'm just like I said I'm going to let this one uh, go for 45 minutes pull the tape then I will uh, let this cure for probably about eight hours retape it I'm going to do a couple layers I'm not going to do those layers on camera because you guys don't need to waste your time watching me do the exact same process over and over so we will come back after it's got all the layers on and we are ready for the next step. All right, see you guys soon. So we're here now at this stage. A um, couple things. Um, when I pulled the tape, it still dripped down. So I will show you guys how to do a repair and pull that off and get that removed. And we are gonna add our decal now. So you can see like the texture in the middle of here, um, it's really pretty with the silver and it kind of just looks like almost like sea foam. Um, like the ocean, like the water moving through, and it looks really cool. I don't know if the camera is picking up how cool that looks, um, but it's really, really neat. Um, and we talked to Miss Debbie. We actually saw her the day that we started this video, and she said, yes, I wanted to, because I said, do you want it to say Miss Debbie, or would you like it to say something else? She said, no, Miss Debbie is perfect because then nobody can take her cup. So because this is contact paper, I'm c pretty confident. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty confident that I can't use transfer paper to move this onto this cup uh, because the transfer paper and the contact paper have the same amount of stickiness. So it's not gonna release this contact paper. I, 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 that's how I feel. So I'm gonna use tweezers um, to just lift the stickers and place the stickers um, real quick. Uh, and I'm, this is not even technically uh, contact paper, it's that book cover paper. So it has even less stick, but we're putting it under epoxy. So it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. I removed the D by hand and just placed it. Then I'm just gonna place the letter, fold the paper, place the letter, and with my finger, I'm gonna hold it in place and then slowly, slowly slide it off the paper and place it on the cup. Sorry, I'm trying not to block it with the paper so you guys can see what I'm doing. And slowly just push it on the cup. I'm doing it like this because I don't want my finger to touch the back of the sticker. Because uh, if it does, it might lift off when I epoxy it, and that will not look good. So this way, my finger doesn't come in contact with the back at all. And I can kind of place the word down, sorry, place the word down as I go. I'm only doing this because this is not vinyl. This is that book wrapping 
paper and it doesn't have the sticky like vinyl does. Otherwise, I would just be using transfer paper. Okay, so that little eye didn't go. I'm gonna just take it with the tweezers. And these little tweezers I got just in the makeup section of the dollar store. They have all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's Debbie. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Miss on. You saw me how I did Debbie. I'm gonna put the Miss on and we will jump back on with you guys. You guys don't need to waste your time watching. All right guys, we've got the decal on here. You can see it's upside down. But we've, uh, I guess we're, we've got the decal on, placed right in the middle. Looks super cute, I love these colors together. I've got my chemical mask on, so I'm gonna sound like Darth Vader a little bit, guys. And I've got my epoxy mixed for you. We're gonna do another hang method over the top. Again, I'm just doing the hang, I'm doing it on camera. I'm showing you so that you can see you can do an entire cup from start to finish using only the hang method. This is on plastic and I've used glitter. So you can use this anyway. I've got my little dollar store lighter. I'm showing you this whole cup is being done by dollar store stuff, uh, except for the epoxy and my safety equipment, my gloves and my mask. Uh, but this is how you do it. You can use any kind of hanging uh, station. I use this as my just simple PVC pipe. We're just going to use a couple mLs. Sorry, I mixed more than I need because I've got about five cups over there I've got to get do the hang method on. So I just mixed it all at once. So we put our few in, uh, two mLs or so on the top. I'm going to do the repair at the end. I showed you guys that the epoxy had actually gone... Uh, I'm going to take some of this while it's, I don't want to rub on this too much because again, it's not regular vinyl. So I'm going to just go over this with quite a bit of epoxy on my finger. So I don't have to push and yank on this and, and, and possibly move it. So we've got that part covered, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the repair at the end because if this round of hang method does the same thing, it shouldn't because I'm not using as much epoxy, but I don't want to have to clean the cup multiple times. So I'm just going to wait to the end and uh, do that repair at the around the lip where that epoxy dripped down, so you guys can see that what I do and how I fix that. Okay, so we're just bringing the epoxy down again. Same thing. If you feel it where it's stick and tough to move, that means there's no epoxy there. Just keep rubbing, and then also know we get real slippery, and that means you've coated that area in epoxy. Again, two mLs, guys, two. If you get too much, you get all the drippage. Um, the reason I have the drippage down here is because that first layer I did to try to make sure I had enough to really cover this glitter well and make it easy, it dripped down and that's what caused that problem. So you kind of have to prepare for that and know how to fix it. So that's why I'll show you at the end. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I've got the mic up close to the uh, chemical mask so you can hear me, but I try to talk louder when I'm in the chemical mask and not mumble, so you can hear me clearly. Okay, so we've got that decal covered. Um, I will do this exact same process, probably three more times. Uh, probably two more times, and then I'll do a gentle sand and a third round, and we will come back. You guys don't need to be, watch me do a ton of layers of hanging method, uh, but just know underneath the decal, before, when I came back, I had put four coats of hang method on this cup. Then we just added the decal, and then I, you saw me put a little on there, do it, and then I added another layer, so that's the fifth coat, and we're gonna do a couple more. So when you are doing hang method, you, the, the benefit is you don't need a turner, but the downside is that you have to do a lot more layers because they're a lot thinner, and so you need to add a lot more. But if you add a big, heavy coat, it's all just gonna drip off anyway, so you just go thin coats, but multiple thin coats, okay? So we'll be back when this bad boy is uh, towards the end and we have to do the sanding. Hey guys, okay, we are back. This is take three on this. <laughs> I've been filming this whole process and realized my video camera was recording upside down. I don't know why, because my video camera was not upside down, but for some reason it recorded upside down. So we're re-recording. Um, so this stage of the cup, it now has about five layers of hang method epoxy over the top of the decal. Um, it um, has probably nine layers in total, I believe. Uh, four layers over the glitter and the tissue paper, and then five over the decal. The reason I have so many layers is because they're so thin that you need more. So when you're doing a, a cup from start to finish with the hang method, when you see people talking in groups that say, oh, I only have three layers, they're not using hang method. When you use hang method, you, do, you need many layers, um, more than normal, because they're so thin for each layer, but you just kind of build up the cup. 
but the bonus is you don't need to turn it to do it. So we're at the stage now where we'll sand it. Um, I've already sanded this cup because <laughs> I've already filmed the section, but you'll use, uh, the. this is sandpaper that I get from the uh, dollar store in the hardware department. And I just cut little pieces off it because you don't need the whole piece and just gonna rub it along and just feel any of the bumps, anything, and just kind of get it a more smooth surface for you to work on and just be careful not to sand all the way through. So just do a light, gentle sanding, then wash the cup. Um, wash the cup with soap and water and let it air dry or you can put it in front of a fan, it'll dry faster. Um, and when you sand, make sure you wear one of your dust masks, even though it's a little bit of sanding, that dust is still going in the air and it's very, it's not good for you to be breathing this in. It's terrible for your lungs. Okay. So I'm going to set those two aside. Um, if you just sand it very gently and so you don't have any sharp little points sticking up or you don't feel anything and just get it to a relatively smooth surface. So that's where we're at now. Now I'm going to show you guys how to, um, clean this edge up. Um, so you're going to need your uh, X-Acto knife. These are in the hardware department of the dollar store and I have a torch. So I was using a lighter earlier, but in earlier in the video and my husband, I think grabbed it when he had a bonfire the other night. So I grabbed this one from the doll and I can't find it. So I grabbed this one from the dollar store today. This is actually a little bit better of a version because it stays farther away from my thumb. I don't have to have my finger real close to the thing, uh, the flame. So first, what you want to do before you even bother with that is you are going to find the spot where the epoxy has gone over your tape. The reason that did is I pulled my tape a little too early because when you go over glitter, you need to use a little more epoxy than you would normally for hang method to get coverage. Um, and then I would wait an, about an hour for to pull your tape. I pulled this one a little early, just in a rush to keep this movie, uh, this uh, tutorial moving and uh, it it did drip down which actually is good because it shows me a teaching lesson for you guys on how to fix this so what you're gonna want to do is right on the edge where you want to separate it from the cup you're just gonna slice through with your exacto uh, knife and you don't want to push too hard you just want to give a firm press if you're having difficulty this is when the torch comes in if it's sometimes if it's really thin it's real easy to slice through this is a little bit thicker so we're gonna take our torch and we're gonna light up, heat up our X-Acto knife pretty hot. This will help it cut through and slice through the uh, epoxy much better. And the reason you want it to slide through relatively easy and not force it is because if you force it, you could end up uh, spoiling the uh, and lifting the epoxy. And see right there, it just cuts through like butter once it's heated and it just slides right through. And you really only don't even need to saw cut it. You just kind of let it push it on and push it down and it goes through the epoxy, so you can see it's pulling the epoxy away. But see, if I had just tried to force that and tried to pry this epoxy up, then it, there's a good chance it will lift the seal between the, the plastic and the uh, epoxy. So that's why you wanna have a severed um, contact point here, so that it doesn't, when you lift this away, it doesn't also lift this. You've separated it from the rest of the cup, and you just take it off just like that. And if you have a big spot, you can take the point of your X-Acto knife, push it under and lift that way as well. So see, what, I'll do it right here. So you take the, the point of the X-Acto knife and push it under, but before I lift it all the way, I'm gonna take this and heat it up again and slice. This works for any of your cups, guys. It doesn't have to just be a dollar store cup or a metal uh, plastic cup. This is for any of the edges on your cups. If you ever need to do this on a metal cup, you can, it works just the exact same process. Okay, so this, I heat it up, I separate it from the rest of the cup, and then it lifts right away. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the rest of this up and we will come back and I, we will uh, do another uh, round of hang method. All right guys, we are at the last, um, portion of this video where we're going to do the last layers of uh, epoxy by the hang method. I've got my nitro gloves on and I've got my chemical mask on already. That's why I sound a bit muffled in the video. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get this last one going and we will be all done with this cup. And there it is. She's all done. This is just done on a uh, dollar store tumbler with dollar store supplies. Um, the only things we didn't use that were dollars that weren't dollar store was the epoxy and my safety equipment. But this was completely done, and I probably did it with let's see one, two, three, four, five, 
five-ish dollars, like one for the cup, one for the tissue paper, one for the glue, one for the glitter, and one for the, the decal. So that's five dollars that you have into equi um, supplies for this cup, but you have enough supplies to probably do like seven or eight of these cups with the same glitter and the same tissue paper and the same uh, sticker. So really that $5 is gonna take you a long way. Four of those $5 will take you a long way. And you just have to buy another $1 base. So these are really, really practical. They're really fun. They make good teacher gifts and birthday gifts and just easy little things for stuff. Um, so I highly recommend jumping in and even just giving it a try if you've never done it before. All right, guys, if you learned something new on this video, give us a thumbs up. That really helps other new creators uh, find these YouTubes. And it really helps me know that I'm putting out good content for you guys. Feel free to leave stuff in the comments, ask questions. I'm here. I try to respond quickly uh, as best as I can, you know, being with triplets. But I get out there and try. I'm really here to help you guys. Um, join us on social media. Media. We're doing a lot of fun stuff with our Facebook group. We'd love to see you guys there. It's, it's a really good time. We're pretty open and helpful. So um, go ahead and find us. All the information you need is in the drop down menu underneath. I'll have all the safety equipment linked in case you need it. Um, and obviously, I don't, I'm, I'll put a supply list, but know that most, almost 99% of the supplies are from the dollar stores um, in Dollar Tree. So check out the stores. You can also even go back to my, I have a tutorial, a uh, YouTube on supplies from the dollar store. You can check that out. There's even more on there um, that we didn't use today, but there's so many supplies at the dollar store for tumblers. So I hope I gave you guys some good info and we will see you on the next one.